dear human, human beings, have we still not understood the value of life? Have we still not understood the fragility and the nature of life? Have we not felt the pain, the struggle, suffering, the most painful images of a life going through ill health? Do we, do we still not understand our mortality? We are not absolute. We are not immortal. We are not eternal. We are fragile in nature. We are mortal in creation. We are we are everything that life can sense because of our conscious nature. People are talking about, people are talking about painful and hard Christmas. Painful and sad Christmas. Painful and lonely Christmas. Across the world, countless millions are going through beyond the pain and suffering and struggle in a hospital bed, maybe not even a hospital bed, maybe in their own bed. Are we still not paid enough importance to life? What is it that human beings needs to be explained of? What is a human being has to know? What is it that a human being must experience to be sensitive to life? What is it? I simply cannot think of anything more to explain than the life that we are brief, fragile, uncertain, and mortal. Why is it that everyone has to glorify about what an individual has to sacrifice during a festivity, during a special celebration. As a, as a human being, an individual, collective group, if they sacrifice for somebody's vulnerable help, vulnerability, if they feel sensitive enough to life of the one who's fragile and weak and frail and vulnerable, would you not think the greatest gift the greatest wish, the greatest, greatest action 
greatest step you have taken is to save the lives of thousands. Save the lives of an entire generation. Save the lives of countless human beings wouldn't be the greatest sacrifice you would make this Christmas by doing what is needed to save ourselves for another day never mind another Christmas maybe in many thousands who are in between health, life and death be determined by your actions you take today. It is not the rush that you make to be with. It is the distance that you keep away from the vulnerable and the fragile and the elderly, the old the weak, unhealthy. As a healthy, conscious being, is it so much to ask from you just to take a gentle step, gentle and responsible steps in making this Christmas a Christmas that you have done the greatest deed to humanity and life of human species for its existence on this planet. Tell me. Tell me if I'm uttering nonsense or my sound. I may sound like noise to people who just cannot imagine what is to be a human being with the capacity of conscious and responsible action can and cannot do what we do today, how we act and how responsible we become will eventually make us all feel healthy and well. Everybody's talking about light at the end of the tunnel by fixing the outside. It'll not happen. The dark days will always turn bright if we are all step in the right direction. What is right and wrong is not for debate. What we do today that fit the challenges that we all face as human beings. Your actions you take, your approach to appreciating your life and embracing every other life as your own you will not have to be told what to do and what not to do. You will do absolutely what is necessary to, to preserve this life. So in turn, you will take absolute necessary steps to preserve every life if you show a respectful enough and conscious and responsible enough that you have woken up to a state of immense possibility in a most challenging of times. And that means that the actions you take as an individual will prevent the pain and suffering, struggle and death for thousands, if not for millions more. 
is worship enough to bow down to you, to respect your actions and your sacrifications during this festive time. It is my wish and my wholehearted feeling of strength that as a human being, we as individuals can do this. And we as human beings collectively can achieve health, well-being and betterness for a brighter, more inclusive, embracing and a possible planet, a conscious planet. A small step that we take will have a greater impact. This is the Christmas that we all can contribute for the health and well-being of all the people of the planet and for the health of our own. The planet that we share will be a healthy one too. Please be the solution to a problem, to a sadness, to an emotional break, and to a painful situations that we all are in. It is entirely in your hands. How conscious are you to make it be possible? How responsible are you to make it feel that we can arrive at a beautiful and a more powerful experience of our lives? going through these challenging times and getting over the hurdle instead of falling, will we all rise to become wiser and wise? Then would we fall and be wounded from the challenges that faces us all? I'm sure everyone will naturally choose the most pleasant experience of life given the circumstances that we face. <laughs>